Welcome back to Prophecy in Christ. Uh, this is Pastor Tony Galanti coming to you again with another video. Uh, just wanted to thank you all, you know, the viewers as well as my subscribers. Uh, hit the subscribe button. Please hit the subscribe button. Hit, you know, and, and give me a likes up on this on these videos of mine. Um, here, I even hold up the subscribe pillow. Yeah. Okay, subscribe pillow. <laughs> all right, now. What I wanted to do is this. Today I wanted to talk to you about something um, that people have questions. I've had people ask me questions in the past. And um, I want to just give you the real compact answer to this. It's not long drawn out and, you know, I could go on forever, you know, but I don't want to do that. I just want to give you the, you know, the answer to it because people just don't seem to understand this, okay? They'll say, what I'm trying to say here is this. Adam and Eve had children, okay? Okay. So when they had children, how did they reproduce? Well, and did they sin? Was it incestuous? Was it wrong? Was it sinful? Did God not want it or did God allow it? You know, that kind of thing, okay? And I want to explain something to you. If you understand the economies in the scripture. And I've noticed a lot of people, a lot of Christians, some denominations even don't seem to understand the economies of scripture. You have some Christians who believe uh, they call it Calvinism and now I'm a seven point Calvinist and yeah, okay, or Armenian, you know, they're Arminianists. They, you know, or, 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 you know, they're Arminian in that sense, or they've gone, they, they believe in, uh, they go after teachers, per se, all right? Now, assignments and so on and so forth. And there's nothing wrong with that. But the fact is this. When you look at the scripture the way it is, <clears throat> you don't need to look at seven separate economies, you know? You just need to read your Bible and, and, and figure it out. It's on your own because everybody can agree with these four economies. Everyone. Unless you just don't want to agree with it for the sake of not agreeing with it. See? which is another illness out there I see in the church, too. Sometimes people just don't want to agree, even though the facts are right in front of their face. Okay. Which is wrong. It's really wrong. Now, <clears throat> what I want to show you is this. Did Adam and Eve's children sin when they, you know, they obviously reproduced, they had sex, right, to uh, grow the population? And I personally believe that even possible, they even possibly before the fall, all right, before the flood, should I say, there were probably 8 billion people on this earth. Now, I'm not going to get into that side of it either right now. But what I wanted to tell you is this. When God created Adam and Eve, okay, he gave them one thing that he did not want them to do. And that was to not eat of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Just one thing, one boundary, one thing. And what did they do? They broke it, okay? That's why we're all here, struggling and moving forward. And, uh, you know, thank God we can rejoice in the Lord Jesus Christ because, you know, that's the, mo that's the most important thing because we're, we're coming closer and closer to the end times. That's very important, okay? I want this to be uplifting, okay? But many, if you're gonna, if you're really looking for truth, and really looking for balance, and really looking for the love of God, you got to look at both sides. Okay, you can't have all this frilly stuff in there and spectacularism and all kinds of you know, lights shining and you know blaring. Otherwise, that's all it is. It's just a temporary emotionalist, emotionalistic type thing. Okay, but let me let me get into this for you. Before. I believe before Adam and Eve sinned, they also had children. You'll see one of those. Well, I have a video in there, you know, in my YouTube uh, uh, videos, you know, explaining that part to you. But even after they had Cain and Abel, and Cain killed Abel, and then, you know, uh, after Cain killed Abel, then they had Seth, okay. And then, you, you know, you also had, when heading all to the world population and so on and so forth. But let me tell you this. 
before Noah, actually before Noah, No, before Noah, there was no law. Okay. So you actually, in those days, they actually did things based on conscience. Okay. Conscience meaning what? Well, if you, you know, like Cain killed Abel, his conscience bothered him. Something happened, right? If somebody stole something, that was something your conscience, okay, should have told you. That's wrong, you know? The problem is that the conscience is not pure. But God had an economy, okay? All based on conscience because there was a great purity way before that. And people understood some of that in those days. But they were breaking and breaking and breaking and breaking the, you know, their own conscience many times. So that is what they call the economy of pre-law, okay? So, now you have Moses coming on board, right? And even, even uh, Noah even set up some laws too, you know, uh, per se. Um, I believe there were about seven of them, like don't kill, you know, don't kill, don't steal, that kind of thing, you know. But when Moses came on board, he, God gave him 10, 10 commandments, as we know, okay? Now, let me explain the 10 commandments to you. All 10 of them, if you break one, we break them all, it says in James, okay? All right. But the other side of the coin is this. All 10 commandments are put there as a ruler you know, when you want to measure something, you put up, take a ruler, right? As a ruler to show us where we have done wrong, okay? You steal something, you know, even if it's a pen. You know, I'm sure we've all stopped taking pens. <laughs> but if you steal something, you know, it's, uh, it's wrong, okay? The other thing is, now we have law. This is, we, we had pre-law before, based on conscience, and then we have law. And then we have the next economy is when Christ came on, you know, showed up, showed up and was born, lived his life, uh, 33 and a half years, roughly. And he ascended into heaven. Now we're under grace. Okay. And what's going to come after grace? Post grace. That's going to be being, we're going to be with the Lord. We're going to be in heaven with the Lord. We're going to set up a kingdom. We're going to be part of that kingdom. So you have four economies. You have pre-law, law, grace, and post-grace. Okay? I don't really even have to open my Bible. I mean, I could tell you here, here's the part, you know, I mean, I got notes in this Bible too. But here's the Bible, here's the part where it's pre, pre-law. Then we got, you know, uh, law, you know. And then we can go to Matthew. Okay? And uh, from Matthew... Grace starts, per se, all right? Um, after Christ, especially after Christ resurrected. Now, um, and that's where the economy changed, okay? So you got pre-law, law, grace, post-grace. And like I said, post-grace, we're in grace right now. Post-grace is where uh, we go to be with the Lord. So did Adam and Eve's children sin when they had children? Obviously, they had to have sexual relationships. No, they did not sin because it was under conscience, not law. Okay? But when Moses came about, that would have been considered sin. That would have been incest. Okay? And today, it's also considered incest. Right? And it will never, ever go into the kingdom of God from here on. Okay? I mean, right now we're in grace and people are doing the wrong thing. And they think they're smart. Some of them. But that is the, that's your answer. The answer is no, Adam and Eve's children did not sin to have um, children. Okay? Things were very different before the law. Very different in the time of, um, of uh, Noah. As a matter of fact, this is not 
based on scripture, but this is based on historical historical fact, right? Which can be very wobbly at times. Some people actually believe that Noah married his aunt when she was 160 something years old, older than him. So, because everybody was living a much longer life, see? So that was under the time of conscience, that was not under the time of law, all right? So I hope this answered your question. No one, people did not sin because God had to do it this way in order to populate the earth, okay? And that's the answer to it, all right? So if you, uh, I'd like to see you subscribe, tell others about me, and uh, pass the message on. My book, For Christianity, The Way Jesus Christ Expects Us All to Know It, it's packed full of information, full of the major truths and major uh, teachings or doctrines, you want to call it. Um, and um, let me tell you something about the word doctrine. Okay? When it comes from the Bible, it's one thing. When it comes from man, I've seen churches, denominations say, it's the doctrine of the church. Well, guess what? Those doctrines are man-made. Those teachings are man-made. You've got to go according to Scripture. Those are the doctrines that are very, very, very important. As a matter of fact, the, 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 you know, in the New Testament, it tells us that in the end times, people are going to want to refute sound doctrine. Sound doctrine. They want to refute it. It doesn't mean that if I am the minister or, you know, whatever you want to call me, minister, priest, pastor, whatever, and I'm telling you, you should be giving 20% in the plate, not 10%. Well, where is that in the Bible? Huh? As a matter of fact, where is it in the Bible that you have to give 10%? Think of that. It doesn't say that either. Okay? But it says, don't, you know, basically we're not supposed to be, you know, stealing. Or I've heard of people uh, manipulating a system just to play you know, look like the Christian, but then they're, on the other hand, they're really not doing what the, what, what the Word of God says with certain things. So, but, it, you know, the true, the true doctrines are, you know, uh, the deity of Christ, the virgin birth, the resurrection, you know, uh, the death, burial, and resurrection, the Word of God has been inspired by the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit gave us this Word, okay? It's God-inspired, okay? Um, and, go, and we can go on, right? But if a church tells you that Mary needs to be prayed to, okay, or a saint needs to be prayed to, and that's a doctrine of that church, they're incorrect. It's not in this word. It's not in the Bible. It's cuckoo stuff, okay? That's in left field, okay? So think of that, okay? And go ahead. Subscribe. Subscribe. I'm coming up with another video real soon, okay? Lord bless you. Keep your chin up. And realize God is always watching. He's always watching over you. He loves you. Okay? Take care. Bye-bye. Lord bless you all. And I mean that. Okay? Bye-bye.